you fucking respect your age. Which one is my age? What does that even mean? If people want to castigate me, now you know only you just come. You don't give a time, you reply me. Every time, every time, now you now only you get mad for this house. This is, you know, say don't. Emotions are high in the house. The housemates have just lost their weekly wager, and this is as a result of the disobedience they've been given to Big Brother. Big Brother even pointed that out on how they delay to respond to instructions, how when they tell them to freeze, they'll be just be doing as if Big Brother can no go ahead to give punishment. Just right after then. Ben went ahead to give instruction, not like instruction, but a kind of remark that yes, all right, we failed our wager, but kudos to everybody that put in the work. He went ahead to commend the the crew members, housemates, how uh, the heads of house, how they all came together, worked towards achieving this task. And I said, okay, moving forward, let them try and obey Big Brother's instruction. Like Big Brother complained on how the jumping jack that was instructed that must be done in the lounge, how the housemates were doing it at their own convenience location. So Ben now said, please moving forward, when instructions are given, let's try as much as possible to do it. You know, let's adhere to Big Brother's rules. And they were just having this conversation like a few minutes ago, do you get? After he finished giving this remark, the housemates now, everybody now retired for the day to go change and all that. Then a few minutes... Big Brother is giving you a microphone infringement. Ben, you're the one that gave a remark. You're the one that encouraged housemates. You're the one that talked about sticking to rules. Now, Big Brother gives you infringement and OC, you know, coming to get his microphone. OC was like, ah, bros, which kind of garden be this one again? And Ben didn't take it easy. I don't know whether he's built up emotion from losing the weekly task or he just got triggered immediately. But he didn't reply Ozzy. What he did is he went down to complain to Nelly and Anita that see you, I was with you people. People were even the one that's supposed to like it kind of caution me. But only for Ozzy to come and say which kind of garden be that. Who does he think he is? Why is he always the one that will have to talk? What was he feeling like? And at that, he now went upstairs. You know, after he has finished lamenting to <laughs> Anita and Nelly, he now went upstairs to go and face Ozzy. He told Ozzy that what sort of talk is that? Why must you always be the one to talk? You better respect your old age. Oh my God. <laughs> you better respect your old age or he will tell you something he will tell you now. And you will go and think your life. And at that, Ozzy was just looking at him like, you know, Ozzy was like kind of calm and quiet. <laughs> and he told Ozzy, respect your age. Don't you know you're old? You better respect your age. Act your age. Why are you always acting childish? You always have the you're always the one complaining about everything in the house. Only you. You're complaining. And Ozzy was like, I don't get your time. I just see which kind of garden be this. And he said, you know, he still went to her on about it. He said, respect your age, you're old. This, this, this. Chinwe told Ben that he, she does not think this is coming from a place of hate. That he, he just said it in a, in a very funny way, like in a comic way. That it's not something to be angry about. That he was just joking, like, which guy lose God, you go lose God. Being that they just finished, you know, talking about keeping to rules and instruction. That is not coming from a place of hate. But then Ben said no. That if there is anybody to castigate him, it should be Nelly and Anita. Those he was even having uh, further conversation with regarding the whole task thing that he just went to drop his plates not like it was intentional that they are the only people that have the right to castigate him not this one the even sean saw him when he was coming up and was like oh bro you know wear your stuff wear your stuff only for ozzy to come and be talking to him and be yarning nonsense <laughs> that's why i said maybe this one is build up emotion build up uh emotions because what's there that warrants all this it's just which kind lose guard you go lose guard no matter thing that tells me to do tell each other now let's maybe uh maybe ozzy did something earlier before now that is making him angry i don't understand well chisoba is currently in the middle of the high sea be that ben is chisoba's situation ship and then by the way twins are their best things in the house um ozzy said if everybody starts acting mature will the house be lively you're telling me to act my age if we all decided to just stay away from banters and house issues, how will this house be? How will this place be? Will it even be livable for the housemates? And you're telling me I should act my age. I should do this. I should do that. And then OC added that 
this is one of the reasons he doesn't like getting into banter or arguments in the house because any little thing people will just pick up on you and start saying something else that you have no idea about when you can't tell them don't worry that they should relax uh, is it not ben then in the next five minutes it's going to probably feel like shit and come back to apologize and all that but ozzy said no if he comes back to apologize that means he knows what he's doing you know if he comes back to change that he doesn't sound like somebody that is joking he knows what he's doing that this is like a form of a direct attack they shouldn't make you look like oh maybe he he's just catching cruise and all that that he knows what he said well this about was just there <laughs> trying to calm the whole situation i don't even want to be in her shoe your your boo be your temporal boo and your bestie <laughs> Now, Osi is wondering why the housemates cannot even take what they dish out because look at Ben who is always throwing clues and jokes at people and just one joke from them and he misunderstood everything. Why is he always like that with them? That people don't take the joke they, they give to them back. I said, well, maybe it's about the food. Is he angry that they won't be getting enough supplies this week being that he loves food? And as he said, no, he doesn't think it's about food. If it's about food, everyone is concerned about that one now. That, why does he want to take it personal? <laughs> Emotions are high anyway. Meanwhile, thank you for listening and I'll see you in my next video. I'll be bringing the highlights of all they did in their wager presentation and the reason why they lost the wager. Thank you for watching and do have a lovely night.